Those fancy transitions, I just want to make it do another one real quick. Golly, that's so cool, I can hardly stand it. Okay, I saw a couple of you, hey now, in, in the chat, oh look, Tommy Wells is already up in there. I'm going to drop a hey now button. Hey now. <laughs> For all of you that were up in there, I see you Matt Galloway, I see you X to the Z, and I see you my main man Tommy Wells. We got to do a Tommy sound effect too. D in the B. <laughs> Justice Keener, I see you too, brother. You get a hey now. Hey now. All right, let's start to jump into this. I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of hey nows mixed into it, but we have to get through this little opening so that we can get into some actual disc dying. You all saw the title, the plan today, Bruce. Hey now is shaving cream dyes. This is like where it all started for me. This is like where it all started for everybody back in the day. Shaving cream was like it. Look, here, wait, let me try to get some of my fancy picture things going. Look, I got a picture of my first two, yeah, my main man, Scott Simposky. Hey now. Fry, thanks for bringing Arkansas to the party. All right, look, check it. Those are my first ever two dyes, like in a bed. Thor, hey now. And they're both shaving cream dyes. Those, look, I checked the date on that picture. I love how my head fits just right in between the picture and the running chat box, which is awesome. Okay, I checked the date on that picture. Um, 10-17, August, no, August 7th, October 7th, <laughs> 2018. They're just a couple months off of four years old. So like rewind the clocks four years ago. There's me doing my first ever funky medium disc dye and it was those two bad boys right there <clears throat> so like we're gonna dig back which button was it crap was it this button that was the button yes high tech bobby <laughs> so we're gonna dig into shaving cream dyes like i've learned so much about them since way back then four years ago and like when like i would think about shaving cream dyes just in general like the time warp design which i got a bunch of pictures for these ready to go is like what will come to mind right away and time warp like i made that name up right jason hey now i'm gonna get a hey now button in there hey now there you go like that's like the thing that people think of when they think of shaving cream dyes is like this time warp where it looks like it's stretching out around you and it's just like pulling away i got a couple more of those look here's one on a rat that's got the stretchy stuff doing it on the outside and then like how about the nerds yeah <laughs> so all those have that like stretched out oh there's big daddy in the stream look i can see your picture too on my little thing <laughs> yeah. old old man cobbers i should hit a hey now button for the old man hey now. there it is rich i see you too big guy so like <clears throat> that that like stretchy look that's like the traditional shaving cream time warp look but like there's other designs you can do with those like how about tie-dye looks like doesn't that look like super tie-dye on a grateful dead disc too so like that's another one i learned to do or like you can do crazy nebula that's like the first medium that i learned well like, i figured out how to do nebula designs so, like, i got a couple more of these there's that that's a star destroyer on a star destroyer brilliant right okay and i got one more nebula picture there it is and behind the disc golf bat basket with roots so like that's like even before all the clear glue and the flow trawl all that crap okay but like how about just like other random designs like this one here like that one's a shaving cream de de design too like there's so many different cool designs there's like t diddy all-star og is to the og alan eckery you know he gets a hey now button hey now. that's for you alan <clears throat> So like there's all sorts of different designs that you can do with shaving cream way more than just like that traditional time warp thing. So we're going to dig into this. Not only were like those 
my first ever disc dies. Oh crap, now I'm getting the buttons mixed up. Look at this, They're, I'm everywhere with them. There we go. Not only, those were my first two ever dies. They were shaving cream dies. Not only were those my first two dies, shaving creams were all, what I also did my first ever live stream on. It totally sucked. <laughs> it was terrible because my boys, Tommy and, and Chris, were in the background getting drunk and acting like it, and I was nowhere near the high-tech Bobby that I am now, so the camera stuff all sucked. So this is like a mulligan for, let me take the picture down, for like that one that I'm gonna probably delete that one after we get this one going. So we're gonna go back to our roots and start banging on some shaving cream. All right, that's enough blabber. Everybody who is planning to get in here has had plenty of time. So let's get started. And like my plan is to do one of each of those, the, the, the time warp, the nebula, and Man, I haven't used a shaving cream in a while. There's some really nasty stuff looking in the tip. Um, the Time Warp, the Nebula, and the Tie-Dye. <laughs> we'll do one of each and stick some discs in there, okay? So I'm going to make a batch of shaving cream that's way bigger than I normally would because I'm going to do it for... Oh, maybe I should switch the cameras so you guys can see what's going on. Hi, Tech Bobby. Gosh, do you love the transition? Someone say they love the transition. Ron Ford, hey now. You get a hey now button, buddy. Hey now. Oh wait, maybe we should do a little James Brown to get things get things started. Yeah. That is unbelievable, man. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna fill up like more shaving cream in here than I normally would, because I'm thinking about making more than one bed. Okay, so it's gonna be a little aggressive with the shaving cream to start we still might need to dip back into that oh there's my main man 44 popping into the place oh and yeah chris is up in here daddy mac i gotta get the hey now button back out for you guys well hey now it is starting to get funky up in here with all these t diddy all-stars getting here joe rollins i see you too oh yeah too funky in here yeah bruce tell me about it with the transition should i do it one more time Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hypnotizing, isn't it? All right, let's get back to disc dying. All right, next I'm gonna grab, oh, you want the heartbreaker button? I got the heartbreaker button. Oh. Heartbreaker. All right. I got, in this hand here, I got a little bit of just regular dish soap, okay? I'm gonna squirt some of that stuff on top of there just like it was icing. It was like fudge on top of this on top of the ice cream and now I got my, my ruler right here I'm just gonna mix this stuff up and the idea is to get the whipped cream into a consistency of like a cool whip that's what I'm going for I know you all know cool whips oh ET hey now I still got my hey now button going hey now you know James Brown was a good James Brown oh no this is on the T Diddy sound effects now most of them are Tommy, okay? Because. That. <laughs> that's from my single favorite T Diddy disc golfing clip ever. Okay, so I got a pretty good cool whip consistency going here. Okay, now over here, I got some more supplies. I'm gonna grab myself a paper plate. Let me just stick that right there. And in a second, put that back there. I'm gonna we're gonna use some of these big giant bowls, okay? But I'm gonna get to that in just a second. We don't need the bowl just yet. It's going on the ground. All right, now I'm gonna put enough shaving cream up into this piece down here to make like a small mounded cone in the middle. Now, when I first started doing this. I was making my cone way too big. It doesn't need to be giant. Okay, that's probably gonna be enough shaving cream. I'm gonna set that right here next to my buttons. Oh, we'll get one for bone in there. All right, now the idea, like I said, is to kinda start to shape this into like a mounded cone somewhere near the middle. You really, I usually only get it when they're this small. 
so far with the ruler and then I need to switch over to my handy dandy credit card to finish her off. But really like perfectly centered doesn't necessarily matter because you can fix that with when you put the disc on, but you do want to kind of get it pretty smooth. Okay, I gotta, man, I don't have a lot of room here. I'm just setting stuff on the ground. All right, credit card time. Where'd you go, little guy? There you are. Squeeze another button in. Let's go back to the James Brown sound effects. Say, say it then, James. All right, now the credit card move makes getting this smooth a lot easier. Okay, you see what's happening here. It's starting to come together. Clean my credit card off right there. All right, now here's another little trick to get it nice and smooth here towards the end. I got a spritz bottle here, okay? And you want a spritz bottle, not a spray bottle. That's why it's chloroseptic, okay? You know what I'm saying now. Because with a spray bottle, it'll like push right through the shaving cream mound. With the spritz bottle, you know, it just drops a little mist right on top. Okay, so I gave it a little shot or two of that. And now I'm going to go back and really smooth it off. Oh, Sean Conway. Hey now. Sean, I just saw your post in Disc Golf Dyers a little bit ago. Looked righteous, dog. That like cellular spiral spinny looking dye that you had in the dehydrator for just two hours. Okay, yeah, we're taking some of the holes out of that. And we are moments away from making this one happen. Okay, calling that smooth enough. Paper towels, I stocked myself with them this time. Okay. Alright, now, where are the discs? Oh yeah, here they are. Oh look, guys, I got the giveaway disc for this month right here you want a sneak peek of it just for you guys that are hanging out in the stream check it there it is that's the demogorgon busting through the on the upside down the white shaving cream background works perfect for showing that off. all right that's enough of that that didn't work it went right to the ground okay here's the one i got three discs here for three different beds i got this paradigm tiger it's off brand these discs are going for like 60 70 bucks up and then I got this gatekeeper right here, the putter. And then I have uh, this glow destroyer that I was going to use because it had some ink drops on it. I figured, you know, it would work well covering it up. But for this one, we're going to use this orange tiger. And I thought I'd try to do like tiger stripes going out from it. Okay, so on this one, even though the disc is orange, I'm going to use orange because I still think some of it's going to come up and then black. All right, so... I got all my powdered dyes over here, are kind of off camera, you can't see them. I got some hot orange right here, and then Dungeon Dark. Those are the two I'm gonna use for this one. All right, and I'm gonna kind of do like straight patterns going down my mound, and hopefully it works. Now, here's one of the things. I, I, t I showed you this disc earlier. Let me get to it. Right, whoops, that's not it. Oh no. I think I gotta go back to my face in order to show it. Look, there I am. I showed you that disc earlier. You can see like all those speckles inside the wall, like, and how they, they break up into different colors. That's just I dye silver. And like sometimes silver and black and gunmetal, they break down into all of their respective colors. Instead of looking black or silver or gunmetal, it'll be like all the colors. It separates into the Roigi bib. So, like, sometimes with the black... We're going to see what happens using the black here. This is my first time trying it with Dungeon Dark. Uh, but because of that, I'm going to try maybe using a little bit more dye than I normally would. Because the first thing I was going to say as I was about to do this is... Like, the main thing with these shaving cream dyes 
is that a little bit goes a long way. Okay, it is so easy to overdo it with the dye. Um, so like the lightest sprinkle is gonna get you there. Should I try six or four? I'm gonna do six. So like I'm sprinkling ever so lightly on the sides of my mound and really at the top, once I did the top once, I'm like not going all the way back over the top because I don't want to like crush the top center with dye. Even though that, that part is going to be covered on this one, but you get what I'm saying. So just the lightest sprinkles of orange and some stripes are going on. Boom. Now because I'm only using, because I'm using the same mixed scooper tin to do all my colors, I'm going to wipe it off in between just to make sure I don't contaminate them. Oh, I haven't looked up at the chat thing in a while. If I missed a hey now, let me give you a hey now. Hey now. I see Nikki. I see Arthur in there. Arthur, I saw you were up in here early. Hey I saw you were up in here early rocking and rolling. Okay, now I'm moving on to the black. And I'm just going to sprinkle some black in between my orange stripes. And then hopefully they'll look like tiger stripes on the disc now i'm gonna go like i said a little heavier with the black than i normally would in hopes that it'll stay black instead of breaking down into its full spectrum of colors but if this were any other color i'd be saying it's too much at least for this technique, for this like time warpy technique. Man, that's a tight little space to work with there. Okay, bang. I should wipe this off before I forget about it. Okay. Blaine, hey now. Oh, Brian Foster and T TJ. I'm just, oh, that's all I'm saying, TJ. Hey now. All three, you get a hey now. Okay, so this is like kind of ready. All right, now I'm going to bring in my big bowl. All right, now really, I could have brought this big bowl in before I started doing my sprinkling because one thing it does is help contain the powder this pro chemical and dye and i dye powder in its powdered form it's cut so fine and if there's any airflow in the space you're working with which there should be airflow um like it can just pick it up and make it go up instead of down when you shake it off so this bowl can help contain the powder when you're sprinkling it on but it's crap for the camera so excuse me i'm waiting to put it in the bowl afterwards but you get the idea okay now really the purpose of this bowl because we're going to stick the disc in there in just a second is to help contain the shaving cream when we smush it on down in there okay so like not just when we smush it in but over time the disc is going to continue to sink into the shaving cream the shaving cream is going to like bloop itself up on out over the sides and all, you know, over the sides of the paper towel and it can make a terrible mess. So, like, you want to have something to contain it. My main man, X to the Z, who's up in this stream, he uses old pizza boxes. Brian Foster, I saw you too. Hey now. He, he uses old pizza boxes, but one way or another, you want to have something to contain the shaving cream because it's going to grow way bigger than the plate if you haven't done this before, okay? Now, I got the disc ready, and we're going to stick this one in there. And for this method, the time warp, you know, the idea is either the disc sinks down into it over time or you press it down in and that makes the dye like stre like streak across as it goes down into the little cone okay so like i said two ways to do this you can press it down into the cone or you can set it on top and then put a weight on top of it and let it sink over time like my main man tommy says d in the b we're gonna smush it in there disc into the bed <laughs> <laughs> all of you with your dirty minds okay so here's the only thing i've done to this dish. i mean i cleaned it off but i masked over the tiger with some contact paper okay so this area inside of his face 
shouldn't get dyed if I masked it well enough. It'll just be everything around it. And ideally, it'll come out like these tiger stripes, okay? So now I'm just gonna try to get <clears throat> my disc centered on the cone. Ease it on there. Try to keep it continuing to go down centered. And now with it in place, smush it down until it starts coming out the sides. There, and I can just barely see it on all the sides, okay? And look, if you can see right here, I don't know how well you can see it. Maybe I'll try to bring it up to the camera a little bit. No, see, because that's, uh, turn it this way. There, you can see some of like how it's like stretching and streaking through the shaving cream there, the dye on the edge. That's the idea, you know, that's what we're going for. But so that way it does that. Okay, now I'm gonna go put this in a special place. I'll be right back we're gonna, and we're gonna do another one. Give me a second, I'm gonna make safe place. Okay, over here. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay, here we go. Now, we got some more paper plates. You can tell these were once used for food and then brought a second time for dyeing. All right, and I got my bowl of shaving cream down here. And now this one, we're gonna do tie-dye, okay? I think I can pull up a tie-dye picture. Can I pull it up on here? Will it let me do it? Yes! Do you know why? Because I'm so damn high tech. Okay, so like that's the idea for this one. We're gonna go for tie-dye. But this one like has just as much to do with the shape that you make the, uh, that you lay the dye in there as anything else. But on this one, we're not gonna make a mound. We're gonna put it in and then smooth it out like a Cool Whip pie inside the plate. All right, let's see where that gets us. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of smooth and level this drawn out like that. Maybe we need a little more. Oh, Forest Koi, hey now. Uh, Sean, the dehydrator, I would not use it with shaving cream because the shaving cream dries out on its own and like the dehydrator would just turn it into like dusty powder. And as this, as the shaving cream dries out, just like with lotion, like it stops transferring dye to the disc. So like shaving cream and really lotion are the two things that I'm not putting into the dehydrator. I'm only putting in uh, Floetrol and glue beds um, because I don't want the medium to dry out totally and to stop transferring dye. And both shaving cream and lotion will do that in the dehydrator. So these discs, I guess, would be the next logical question. How long will they sit? Like for star-like plastics, um, I let them go overnight for, you know, tw 10, 12 hours. For champion-like plastics, uh, I, I usually give them like a full 24. Okay, we got another bed ready to go. It's, it's pretty smooth enough. Okay, now... Here's the thing with tie-dye designs. Like, tie-dye designs are like, by nature, like kind of circular and symmetrical because of the way they, they're made, right? The fabric's tied up and then it's dipped in dyes. So making circular and symmetrical designs in the plate to get started with um, is, you know, how you wanna get these things started. So I got a whole bunch of shinier, fancier colors here let me pick out something good right, let's start with some sonic blue towards the middle mm, you know what i'm going to start with my bars first and then i'll build circles around me all right now here's the other thing that's different about these types of designs and shaving cream than the other ones like you still don't want to use too much of the powdered dye because one of the things when you're using too much of the powdered dye in the shaving cream is you can get dropout where like as the shaving cream starts to dehydrate a little bit, the, the weight of the powder itself, it's, if it's in clumps, will sink into the shaving cream deeper than the surface and then not be in contact with the disc and like not dye it. So you'll get like dropout spots. You can see it on some of these. No, not that one. 
No, not that one. Uh, maybe. Okay, that one, you can see the dropout spots on. Like those open spots in between the, the solid color spaces. That's where dye has was too heavy and sank through. So you don't you never want to use too much, but with this type of design, I'm gonna be using way more than with the time warp one. And I want to get like a full coverage on the shaving cream more than just a sprinkle. Any of you who have used the powder dye know that some colors are just more clumpy and the powder more like sticky than others, right? Like the red might be, what color am I using? Just so you guys know, this is Sonic Blue. Okay, do I wanna do more? No, I'm gonna save that for another color. Sonic blue has been used. I'll slide that there. Let's do the uh, another blue for the other cross. Yeah, I got flag blue right here. I'm gonna do another X for flag blue. Where's my wiper? Even though they're two blues. Yeah, Zach's. I. Th that's what's coming at the end of this. I got the Mister ready to go. That's one of the other differences with these tie dye designs than when I do those time warp designs is at the end I missed it to kind of start to activate and puddle out the dye a little bit more so it looks more like tie-dye blotches as opposed to like spacey looking dots that get stretched out. So once all this is down we'll mist it to kind of activate some of it and it'll give it a different look when we smosh it up in there all right now let's break into some other shinier colors how about where's the yeller yeah I got the yeller right here oh yeah this is like super fine misty powder in this yellow one for anybody who I missed I'm gonna hit the hey now button hey now Forest, I think I hay now you, but I'm fine with you getting two hay nows. All right, now I'm gonna start filling in these spaces in between. Very carefully with my McScooperton. There's gonna be some crossover here. Oh gosh, see we got a bunch out there. That's definitely going to be a spot where there's some dropout. Okay. My lid. Maybe I'll do like a progressive, like a gradient fadish kind of thing and go from yellow to orange to red to purple working my way out on this that's kind of tie dyeish right do a little orange next working out on our little pinwheel Bill, hey now. Give another hey now. Hey now. I should break back into some more Tommy sound effects. Tom, I love when you're in here and I can keep playing you sounding like a goof out of the horse. Oh, snap. <laughs> How about that? I got it on video. Oh, I got the video. <laughs> That's what happens when you flick that putter, son. <laughs> that is what happens when you flick that putter, son. I got so many good Tommy sound effects. Oh, no. 
<laughs> Bill, did I give you a hey now? I saw you get in here. All right, now I'm moving on to red. See how easy it is to distract me? All right, little red outside that. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do like a circle of, I got royal purple, maybe I'll use the lavender instead. The lavender is a little darker than the royal purple. I'll just do some of that around the outside like that. And that's gonna get some disc. We'll get some of that purple in there. Oh, especially that chunk right there. That was a big one. Okay. All right. Now, I'm, before I start spritzing this time, I'm gonna I'm gonna get the bowl and stick her up in there. Okay. So we got the dye, and you can see how much more dye is on this one than the last one we did, like way more, right? So that's like the first big difference. And then the last one we didn't spritz, this one we're going to spritz. Like, I forget who it was. That is a paper plate, Zach. Okay, so you wanna get a, a, a bottle that mit, like spritzes, not sprays, okay? So I use an old chloroseptic bottle. If you have a spray bottle, it's too strong. It'll go in there and it just moves the dye all over the place and it'll squirt holes into the shaving cream and then that'll be a spot. Crystal, hey now. That'll be a spot where the dye doesn't make contact with the disc. So you want a, a mister, a spritz. And then just give it some... Sh I'm going to try to shoot this way so it doesn't get it on my keyboard. <laughs> okay, so I'm giving it some hits in there. Yeah, and you can see the dye already starting to starting to activate in there. And that's going to, like, we're not going to push this one in, so it's not going to be as streaky. Okay, but that's, that's plenty of spritzing, Bob. Okay. Which one should we put in there? The, dis the Destroyer or the Gatekeeper? What's the next one? Next one's Nebulas. I'm going to do Nebulas on the Destroyer because that's a glow disc and, like, spacey stuff on a glow disc. All right, now this one, like... Also different than the last one. I'm not gonna push it in, okay? That pushing it in is to like help make like make that stretched out look. This one, we just, like we're gonna push it in a little bit, not like mosh it all the way down. We're just gonna get it up in there. Key though, again, is we want this to be centered. I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna give it just a little bit of that same roll technique that we use with clear glue. And then I'm only pushing it in enough to make sure everything's, you know, in contact with the disc. So you can see a little bit of it squirt up over the edges, but I don't want to push so much that it starts making, you know, stretch marks. Like Tommy says, ease it in there. D in the B. <laughs> disc into the bed. Okay, now I got, <laughs> I got to get this one up out of the way, put it in a safe place, and we're on to our last one. We're almost done here. All right, that's a special place. And I got, oh look, on this one, we got Christmas flavored paper plates. And I'm gonna get back in position here. You have no idea how many power cords and extension cords I have to dance around <laughs> to pull this off right now. High tech Bobby, in full effect. Okay. Shaving cream down here on the floor. Oh crap. Now we're gonna do the nebula dye next. Hoping that I got enough shaving cream, but I don't think so. But this one, just like the last one, um, is 
we're going to do like a, a flat pan of the shaving cream again instead of a mound or a cone. I knew when I mixed it, I wasn't going to have enough for three. Okay, time out on this. We'll set that on the keyboard. Set that right there where I put the shaving cream bottle. There it is. Squirt a little more of this action in here. That should be plenty. Give it a quick, smaller hit of the soap. The idea with the soap here is to just help get it into that like slightly different cool whip instead of shaving cream consistency. I used to use water at this point, but then someone out there in the TDD Army told me, yo, try soap, it works really good. And I did, and I, it was, I was getting better results with it. So I made the switch, T to the army, full effect. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's pretty cool, Whippy. All right, that should be enough. Randy, hey now. I gotta get back to where my hey now button is. Hey now. All right, and then we'll stick this up in here. Scrape all this action out. Okay, that's about what I got. Oh, I feel like Smokey having to go to the store for his mom for cigarettes. Make it enough. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna make this enough. We don't want big air pockets. That's the most important thing. It's tough when it's not overflowing to get it nice and smooth. Okay. it with the credit card. Maybe I can scoop some out of here real quick first. Oh yeah, look at all that extra shaving cream. This plate just had a little more grip on the turntable. It'd make this so much easier. That's enough OCD leveling of the shaving cream. Now for this one, we're doing Nebula, right? Is that what we're on? All right, now the idea for this one is similar to the last one that, you know, what really matters. Hey now, Judge, who are you in real life? Hit me up, shoot me a DM, buddy. Um, it, it like the, the idea is like the shape that you make with the powder dye, okay? so. What I like to do with these is to start in the center of the, like the nebula that I'm going to put in there and build my way out. Okay, should I pull up one of the examples in case those people who weren't here in the beginning there, you can see some nebula designs on that. This is like way before clear glue and all that Floetrol crap. Oh, look, we got someone on all three platforms. Whoever's on Twitch, you are my favorite watcher right now because we got someone on all three, baby. <laughs> Okay, so like all these nebulas with shaving cream, I was like way back before I even knew that you could use glue. So here's the plan. Let's do three nebulae on this one. So I'm gonna start working my way out from the center of the nebulae and then after the nebulae are built, then I'll do all the space, fill in all the space around them with like outer space, right? Okay, so I'm gonna try to make these not like perfectly symmetrical because space isn't like that. So this last one, I'm gonna put close to the edge. Okay. Yellow down. I keep wiping off my jimmer jammer in between. All right, now how about one outside of yellow? Maybe we'll do a little, we'll skip orange and go to red. 
This red is chunky though. It's hard to control in small little, small little pieces. Okay, now see, now I'm like trying to build outside of the yellow with a little of the red. Can you hear me hold my breath when I concentrate? Does anybody, <laughs> Does anybody else do that? <laughs> All right, red is down. Let's pick another color. How about royal purple? We haven't broken that one out yet. And now I'm gonna do another ring outside of that. Wipe off my jimmer jammer. Oh yeah, this royal purple doesn't look quite as tough to spread. You know, you want these shapes to kind of be irregular. Just like they would be out there in Carl Sagan territory, I guess. Boom. All right, let's give them one more, maybe two, but definitely one more color. Last time, not the flag blue. What's the other blue I broke out? I thought I had bright blue. There it is, sonic blue. Sonic sounds pretty spacey. Coming out kind of chunky. Now on these spacey ones, like I'm not necessarily as concerned about dropout as I was on the other ones because dropout on these can kind of look like stars mixed in and the spaces in between, which is like really cool. All right, I think, should I try to squeeze one more color in there? Such a greedy. Yep, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I think I'm going to put some orange on the outside. Where was that orange at? There it is. Neon hot orange. And then after this one goes down, we'll put the outer space in around it. You can see why doing these on the turntable is nice. Because being able to just move the thing, move the bed, makes distributing the powder so much easier. It's not easy no matter what you use. Toothpicks, I'm sorry, uh, popsicle sticks, McScooper tins, toothbrushes, all of them. It's just tough to control. You really find spaces like that. Zach, your question's about to be answered. Glenn, I see you. And you get a hey now button. Hey now. I'm thinking I'm going to use Dungeon Dark. No, yeah, I'm going to use Dungeon Dark, and I'm just going to try to be as thin with it as I can. If I can find the Dungeon Dark, it's what I'm going to use. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. You're over here hiding. Okay, did I wipe this off? I don't remember, so I'm just going to do it again anyway. Boom. Okay, now we're gonna do some of the space in between. Now with the black, you know, like I said earlier, if you in case or if you weren't here and you missed it, black and silver and gunmetal a lot of times won't come out black. What they'll do is while they're in there, they'll break down into the respective colors that make them up, and you'll get like sometimes a full spectrum of colors. So like I'm hoping that most of it is like black 
black spaces with some of those spectrums of colors in between that might look like spread out stars and that kind of stuff through it but like you gotta be ready for that when you're using the black powder on like lotion or on glue or on shaving cream like that a lot of times it doesn't come it's not like like the black you get from a hot dip or even like when you use black lotion to like do your stencils and stuff okay all right so we got that all set now i'm gonna bring in my bowl i'm done with those i'll set this guy in the bowl try not to ruin it in the process cobbers all right and now this one i'm not gonna spritz nearly as much as i did the tie-dye one i want the tie-dye one to be a little wet okay so this one, uh, I want it like I want to activate the dye, but I don't want it to be as wet because then it, it'll kind of ruin that like spacey look. So I'm only gonna give it one, two spritzes, okay, from the spritz bottle. And now I got my Champion Glow Destroyer here that we're gonna stick in. I'm gonna try to aim it so those black ink dots are like in the black space area. And this one, just like the last one, we don't want to smush it in like the time warp. We just want to get it in and make sure that everything's in contact, okay? So I'm going to kind of roll it in like you're all familiar with doing in the glue beds and stuff. Like that. I got it pretty well centered. And now I'm going to smush it just a little bit so that everything's in contact. Oh, we got my main man Earth popping in. T. Diddy All-Star Guest Appearance. My man. Oh, and Katie? Tell me the kids are here too. Where are the boys at? All right. You guys came, you guys, good timing because I'm just about to finish this. Okay, so that's it. Look, it's in there. You can see that. Okay, so the, the last thing to talk about, I'm gonna pull all these discs tomorrow. The, the first two I'll probably pull in the morning. This one, since it's champagne plastic, I'll pull out at night and then I'll put in the description of, of this video that's going to stay up on YouTube links to all those pictures. But, you know, if you follow us on Facebook or Instagram, you'll see them there. OK, but that's that's the end of the show. You'll see results in the next day or two. And, you know, the whole lot of you that came to hang out. I'm going to give you another hey now before we go. Well, hey now. I love it. Let's get how about some more days. Yeah! All right, kids. Wait, let me go back to the face so that you can see me. Crap, I don't know these buttons. There we go. We'll catch you the next time, kids. Keep doing it. Yeah! Now I'm going to turn this off. I always